This is in a very important trig identity. It's called the Pythagorean trig identity, and here's why. We know what this means is the sine of alpha squared. The order of operations here is that you do the sine first and then you square that result. And this is the cosine of alpha squared. And that's going to be equal to 1. And here's why. The sine is defined as that opposite over the hypotenuse. So this is opposite over hypotenuse squared. This one is adjacent over hypotenuse squared. And we're going to try and show that that's equal to 1. Now, look at the right triangle. Okay, these are associated with opposite, hypotenuse, adjacent. And here's what we know. Adjacent squared plus the opposite squared is equal to the hypotenuse squared. Okay, now this means that we've got the opposite squared over the hypotenuse squared plus the adjacent squared over the hypotenuse squared. That's got a common denominator, so it's going to be the hypotenuse squared on the bottom, and on top I've got the opposite squared plus the adjacent squared, and because of the Pythagorean theorem, I know that that much is equal to, to the hypotenuse squared, so this is the hypotenuse squared divided by the hypotenuse squared, and that's why we know this is equal to 1. There are two other Pythagorean identities that are really equivalent to this one and come from this one directly. Suppose that we divided both sides of this equation by a sine squared. Here's a, another trig identity, sine squared of alpha divided by sine squared of alpha plus cosine squared of alpha divided by sine squared of alpha is equal to 1 over the sine squared of alpha. And what we get here is a 1 plus a cotangent squared of alpha and a cosecant squared of alpha. So that's our second Pythagorean trig identity. Begin with our original trig identity and divide everything by a cosine squared. At that point you get a tangent squared, and you see where it's coming from? Plus 1 is equal to 1 over a cosine squared will be a secant squared. The important thing to, to realize here is that you can know you can know these two because you know this one. That's the idea of building the concept map and seeing how, how uh, some ideas flow from other ideas. 